highly desire to put the poll is, there, there's nine questions. Each question is not a question, it's a quote. And you have to guess what that quote was said by a R&R, &R, meaning a recognize and resist, or a heretic. So there's two choices to answer. <laughs> so you read the quote, and then you either pick R or heretic. So I'm going to start this. And you should see the first question, which says, that's the first quote. Everybody see the first quote? Okay, good. That means it's working. We ask for nothing better than to be declared out of communion with this adulterous spirit. We ask for nothing better than to be declared outside of this impious communion of the ungodly. Is that an R&R? Or did the heretic say it? So, take that. For those that uh, are not on the smartphones, you want to raise your hand. If this is an R&R, &R, raise your hand. If you is an heretic, raise your hand. Two more hands. Okay. Well, if you're done voting, voting, we're going to see what the results are. Um, it looks like you should see the results on your phone. It's about even there. 32 say it's R and R, and 31 votes are heretic. Pause. Uh, that's because apparently I did the wrong thing. <laughs> now we see the results. Oh, I'm going to tell you the results. Uh, that was R&R. &R. That was from the Society of Christ Society. Yeah. Uh, question two. Whoever enters the priest receives a binding duty to preach, and this mandate ought to be carried out, notwithstanding a pretended excommunication. Raise your hand, it's R and R. Looks like not equal there too. Okay, we still got votes coming in. Now it looks like we're there. Uh, 36 say it's R and R, 28 say it's a heretic. That was a heretic. Um, and we have any of the answers on here. I'm trying to remember who said that. I believe that was John Puss uh, condemned his. It was in the list of his condemned errors. I think it was number 18. Question three. Let's go on to. You have a question three now? Okay. Quote, the fear of an unjust excommunication should never hinder us from fulfilling our duty, never are we separated from the church, even when the weakness of man we seem to be expelled from it, as long as we are attached to God, to Jesus Christ, and to the church herself by charity. Was from him. 
It's a retirement group. Yes. Um, number five, most holy father, I prostrate myself at the feet of thy blessedness. I offer myself to thee with all I am and all I have. Give life or death, call or recall, approve or reprove, as it shall please thee. Thy voice will I hear even as that of Jesus Christ who abides in thee and speaks through thy mouth. We've got 31 for R&R &R and 35 for Heretic. And that was said by Martin Luther. <laughs> After he lost the faith, just before he got really mad at the Pope. <laughs> okay, number six. It seems that a Catholic is constantly compelled by necessity to have to choose between truth and obedience, or in other words, between being a heretic or a schismatic. We have 49 for R&R, &R, 18 for heretic, and yes, that was, I think, from the 1980 document from the Society of Pius X. Question number seven. To suffer in peace and excommunication and an unjust anathema rather than betray truth is to imitate St. Paul, far be it from rebelling against authority or a destroying unity. For R&R, &R, 40 for R&R, &R, he's going on 24 for heretic. We're all going to 24 for Heritage, 42 for R&R, &R, and completely failed. That was another condemned error of Fresno in the early 1700s. So, I think we should just discontinue this quiz. <laughs> Actually, for time to say that, you have to do it. Only two more questions. One was R&R, &R, and the last one, Probably similar things have been said by R&R, &R, but it was, I appeal from the Pope, poorly informed, to the Pope, better informed. Sounds kind of like R&R, &R, but actually it has been repeated by many heretics for at least a thousand years, as far as I can track it back. Martin Luther said it just after that letter that I wrote you, or that I read you, in which he professed his obedience to the Pope. Uh, the Jansenists, bishops and clergy that were condemned, they said it. Many others use that. I think some of the modernist heretics of the half century ago use it. And it was condemned by Pope Pius IX in his Epistola Tua, in which he said, You can't appeal from the Pope, poorly informed, and well done for. So,